Lloyd, after a lengthy courtship, the political right is finally taking the plunge. Sealing the deal, not with a kiss, but a handshake. I actually had difficulty sleeping last night, so it's like Christmas time waking up. These once bitter rivals say it's time to put the sniping behind them. Heck, they even laugh at each other's jokes. Oh, yeah. No, that's over. <laughs> But it's the prospect of a Paul Martin liberal landslide that's driving this deal. Believing only together, by forming a new party, can they beat him? This agreement ends vote splitting. It means that two plus two can equal more than four. It means winning. Paul Martin says he's not losing sleep over it. Uh, the focus has really got to be on, um, on what we're going to do as a government. But before they can walk down the aisle, this deal has to be sold to party members by December 12th. Among the alliance, most are celebrating. It's about time. Canada's been suffering because there's one governing party and a bunch of also rants. But the Tories are deeply divided. Some call it a hostile takeover. We have the right name. We had, in that fact, um, probably the right leader even at that time that went forward and, and did this deal with Mr. Harper. But that's all gone now. Quebec Conservative MP André Bachon says it won't sell in his province. Now the agreement is only between the CA and the PC. And people in Quebec are reacting, saying, OK, you're sleeping with the extremist. Merging with the alliance, a party that's opposed to bilingualism, even same-sex marriage, former Prime Minister Joe Clark says it won't work. Winding down the Progressive Conservative Party of Canada, which this does, deprives the country of uh, the only other national entity that could form government. And don't forget the deal signed by Peter McKay and rival David Orchard, agreeing not to merge with the alliance. Orchard supporters, and there are many, plan to put a stop to the political I do's. They're almost like a ticking time bomb that's you know ticking away in the heart of the Tory party and could be ticking away in the heart of the marriage. There are huge hurdles ahead and no guarantee that these right-wing newlyweds will be able to unite a new party and choose a new leader in time for a possible spring election.